So, in Dragon's Dogma 2, there are different vocations you can get your hands on, and we have already covered the Warrior. In this video, we're going to be going through the Sorcerer. So, what you have to do to get your hands on the Sorcerer is start off in the game and make your way down to the capital, which is going to take up to a couple of hours. It all depends on what you are doing before you make your way to the capital. But once you are there, go to the Vocation Guild, and you are going to talk to the person there. Once you have backed out of the Vocation menu, the person's going to tell you that they cannot let you become a sorcerer or warrior because they don't have any more weapons. And that is when you are going to be given a quest to go and grab a staff and a greatsword. So it's exactly the same way you get the warrior, except it's a little bit of a different location. Like It's in the same location. It's just in a different spot within that location. So once you've done that and you've obtained the quest, you are then going to make it to Trevo Mine, which is over to the northwest of the Vernworth capital. And if you have a pawn that has the quest guide ability, they are going to be able to lead you there. But basically what you want to do is make it to this mine. And when you are there, instead of heading to the far east to get hold of the greatsword, you are going to make it to the far northeast of this mine and grab the staff. So basically, if you just follow the path that I am taking in the footage, once you get there, you are going to open a chest at the top of the hill and you will get the staff. And all you have to do with that staff is take it back to the vocation guild, speak to the person, hand it in, and that is the sorcerer vocation unlocked. And what we're gonna do is leave that video there. Let me know your thoughts and stuff about Dragon's Dogma 2 in the comments. I will see you guys in the next one. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helped you out. Thank you for watching.